and you can see this is not the rat rod this is the pumpkin truck the rat rod is down y'all and i did get a phone call yesterday and we found out what was wrong with it what's going on guys welcome back to 806 driver another fun filled day here in the straight up dog days of summer texas panhandle hot 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 well as you see here i got a new seven-way plug uh, our old seven-way plug here is pretty pulled out and see the wings on each side are broke off um it's just wore out it's not making good connection so what we're going to do today is we're going to change out this plug right quick so we can uh get back under our belly dump over here we just dropped our tanker and we've been running hard and you can see this is not the rat rod this is the pumpkin truck the rat rod is down y'all and i did get a phone call yesterday and we found out what was wrong with her number four injector and guess what uh they cannot find no injectors right now it's getting kind of hard to find so we're gonna try to do a little pov today on uh replacing this pigtail and then uh uh get a little bit of rock calling action today so uh First thing you want to do, uh, you need a flathead screwdriver, you need a good Phillips screwdriver. And also I got a razor blade here to trim off some excess stuff. Really need to replace all these lines, but I need to get going. So let's get this sucker replaced so we can get to work. Uh, first thing you want to do is take off this uh, retainer clip. Screw it out. This is what holds the cable. It kind of keeps it from when you, if something you happen to pull on it, or whatever keeps it from falling out and then there's a small screw right here actually this one's a, a flathead take it out now you should be able to pull your plug apart here after that uh, there you go just slide slide the cover down and then it exposes a uh, your, your plug here so and on this one this one is hardwired right here this one uh in other words this one right here don't have no screws it's not a replacement and you can't so i'm gonna have to go through here and cut each one of these wires and take it apart so i need a pair of cutters walk in here to our handy dandy toolbox A pair of cutters and a pair of strippers not the kind of strippers you're thinking about if you mind out a gutter so we're just walk along here got seven wires cut a white one ground brown some marker light green turn signal red brake lights yellow turn signal black marker light blue is abs or accessory depending on the year model of your truck all right so we got our end cut off here always set that end right there for uh come in handy later we'll kind of spread your wires out here the GoPro plates so ain't too good. I'm wearing it on my hat, y'all. So bear with me. If I get a little out of frame, I'm sorry. But I'll try to pick it up. Remember to pick it up so we can look at it. All right. So I'm gonna need a little more wire than this, I suppose. So I'll probably end up cutting this back to about right here with a razor blade. Let's just take her blade and make a circle around it. You kind of feel when it breaks through you ain't gonna put a lot of pressure just enough to get it to come loose and cut you a slit in it just peel it off there like so then that'll expose you some good wire and you can spread these out again even better now here I'll, i'm gonna cut these ends again 
kind of get get down to some better wire here try to keep them all about the same length it will help you on reinstalling I'm cutting them on that first little bend round and thicker all right if you look there they're all pretty close in length yep pretty close in length there come back here spread them out again make them easier to cut we're gonna have to trim us some I take about a half inch off each end is what I like to do thicker too it's got bigger carries a little more current if you got a lot of brake lights on your trailer same way with this ABS one and this blue one that's the one that actually supplies the power to the ABS on your trailer of course this big white one here that's your ground all right, so once you get them all cut, just go through and twist them all tight. Get them all nice and clean looking. There you go. All right, we got her all ready to go there. So now we're gonna take our new uh, plug here. Go ahead and take out that uh, retainer clip like we did on the old one take out your small screw here the small screw does it goes in a certain place and that's what keeps your plug oriented in the right direction a little smaller flathead screwdriver all right once you got that done pull your new plug out new end out and then you got your plug here so what we'll do is we'll pull our pull our old cover off disregard that Sometimes this can be tricky getting through the spring. Sometimes it's better to wait to cut your wires until you get it over the spring, but generally you can fight it for a minute and it all go through, just like that. And then you gotta retwist everything. <clears throat> or if I sound a little down today, I just, I'm tired. It's, it's been, we've been, blowing and going y'all blowing and going we've been busier and shit fertilizer's about to wear us out and then uh, then we're doing some of this side job dirt hauling too so on top of that and ain't no rest for the wicked right all right so once you got your new uh new cover on right here your new outside piece whatever you want to call it your casing whatever get it there um on your new plug here pigtail you can see i don't know if it's a focus there or not but each one of these are holes are labeled what color goes in them so and like i said if you start at the 12 o'clock position looking at it from the back your white is your ground it's right here on top you got a black marker light you got a yellow turn signal you got it red is your brake lights you got a green uh turn signal and then a brown marker light and then your blue uh your blue abs or optional goes in the middle so it's easier to do the blue first and then uh go and work your way out work your way around the outside so we'll stick our blue in here and 
and you just tighten down the screw with your Phillips screwdriver. Always like to give a good tug on it after I get done to make sure it's good and secure. So, all right. Next, uh, we'll do the ground last, y'all. So next, we're going to go to black. So we'll put the black in. Next, right there. This can get kind of tricky sometimes trying to hold everything in place and. be a pain in the butt sometimes but get it held in place uh, so we got a black is in there good and tight Blue is okay still. Always like to kind of check them as I'm going around, y'all. Okay, we'll go to yellow next. Operating with me here. On the phone trying to monitor y'all. and harder as you go around too because everything gets to work it's tighter don't want to line up man it's hot out here y'all See if I'm finding a little better screwdriver right quick. All right, guys, we got a different screwdriver here, working quite a bit better. Got the yellow one in there. Just uh, sometimes having the right tool, those screwdrivers give me a, give me a hard time. So now we're gonna go to the red. We got the yellow secured. Get it red. Stick it in there. Tighten her down. Alright. Give her a tug. Good. Around to the green. Mean green here. Let's see if we can get old mean. Mean, uh. I have a tester to hook up to these seven ways to check them too, and it is in the, under the bunk in the rat rod. So fortunately we don't have it to use. So we'll, we'll just have to test it when we hook up to the trailer. Right there. Try to get old brown over here. Stabbed in the finger with copper ain't never fun either, is it? A 
brown is in. One more to go with big ground here. Back out that screw. everything re-verify make sure everything looks one of them big old peanut haulers we used to be some big old peanut haulers at one time all right everything looks all right to me guys so shouldn't do after that just go ahead and take your your casing here slide it up Push it in. Take your little retainer screw. But y'all, let it retain. Then the cable holder. Put it there. cross-threading sure felt like we was anyway I don't know what's going on with that y'all but that's not going in as far as it usually does anyway none less that's how it sheets together. Everything's wired in. Let's go see if it's gonna work. But first thing I'm gonna do, before we do it, I gotta put a gallon of oil in the truck, put a little bit of coolant, and I'm gonna rinse it off right quick, then we'll hook up. seems to be working right so let's go up here and check our make sure our doors are going to open Make sure our tarp is going to roll over.
load her up. Finally got everything situated. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Pot is all get out already. different place to mount it, but it worked pretty good right there, seemed like. Worked pretty good in that spot. We're going to head over to uh, Snyder, Oklahoma. It's about an hour and a half away, about 90, 95 miles or so. Go get us a load of rock and we'll catch y'all at the pit. Snyder, Oklahoma. We're about to roll into the to the pit here, y'all. Get us a load of rocks. Party like a rock star. Looks like they're loading the train today. Channel 17. Now one head over to the inch and a half crusher run, please. Let the loader man know I'm coming over there. Gotta check out this big old dump truck. Old quarry trucks. And it's a baby compared to a lot of them, but they got some big old loaders and some big, big dump trucks in here for sure. That's a big old loader. Komatsu WA-800. Big Daddy. About 1351, check it out the inch high pressure. Inch and a half pressure. That's what we're picking up. <clears throat> yeah, this is a... I really miss doing this type of work right here, y'all. I'm glad we're getting to do a little bit of it, even though it's not probably going to be for very long, but uh, I enjoy hauling rock. Yeah. Like I always say, y'all know my favorite tu favorite type of trucking is the uh, is moving equipment and everything, and these kind of go hand in hand, so a lot of places where you're slow on moving equipment, there's usually always rock to haul, so kind of kind of work together really well so but i'm glad we got get an opportunity to do a little bit of this break up the knot hey don't forget big rock we gotta wait on the loader man to get here we're gonna load out this pile right here to our kind of to our left here half-ass position it's usually about where he wants us to set up there so he gets over here we'll get some some video of him loading us up hey 25 or excuse me 26 tons on this inch and a half please sir
pulling up on the scales here, about to scale out. This is a uh, Ronnie's transport number 998, loaded with an inch and a half pressure rubber. All right, so I have a lander all being off the road. We got to, uh, once we get scaled in here and everything, I got to go up there to get my ticket at the window, so what we're going to be doing here in just a second get our ticket and we're done it's that easy only have to weigh in once every 30 days you got to weigh in empty and they keep your empty weight in the system for 30 days after 30 days if you have not after 30 days is up you have to re-weigh and uh, get an empty weight so a new empty weight for the next 30 days so you always got to Joanne did you hear me on that one Told you all the info. I'm sorry, my radio. This radio keeps cutting off. Okay, he's going into Swanee's and you've got each other. Yes, ma'am, the lighthouse bill. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I got my the CB radio here. I got it plugged in with a cigarette lighter deal on it. Don't stay in that. Don't stay in that socket very good, so I think I'm going to have to do some changing up on that. Changing up on the wiring. Didn't have that much trouble with it yesterday. It seemed to have, be having a little more trouble with it today. I'm going to pull. i got to go walk up here and get our... Get our ticket. All right, guys, look at this little hill over here. That's where they're getting all the rocks from. Bring it in here. Little end dump. Rolling out. Pretty busy in here right now. Coming and going, so. We're about to get on the road, get back to Memphis. And uh, hell, we get back to Memphis. I'll catch up with y'all there. While we get unloaded. Let this truck go by us right quick. Brown transportation. Boy, they got a lot of belly dumps and end dumps. See them guys all over the place. Yeah, we get back to Memphis here and get her kicked off. Uh, I'll get back with you. Now yeah, there's that, that big loader we seen a while ago and, and that big uh, dump truck. They're going up the mountain right now. Hey, I seen how big they were earlier and that, they look little right there, don't they? <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Go ahead. I guess he ain't gonna go ahead.
location here, y'all. Kick this load off. Pretty sandy. I hope they got the entrance fixed a little better than what they had yesterday. I got hung up out here yesterday. Come out here and push me out. Be there where we can tie in. Let's see, I got the GoPro back there. Flip the switch. She's unloading. That's it. and uh, grab one more load. Got enough time to get it done, so that's what we're gonna do. But I, I appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. Hope the repair on the pigtail was pretty cool. Watch this traffic here. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we are in the dog days of summer. Dog days of summer, y'all. So that's just part of it. Part of it. Part of the summer. And this year's just been super hot for some reason. So uh, we got our we got our irons in a lot of fires right now been really really busy you know they talk about everything slowing down and the recession and this and that but man it's just been 
has been absolutely crazy for us. But, uh, and fortunately, we've been blessed. And uh, I mean, we've been so busy. I'm, I'm about half ass holed out like that uh, plug was earlier. So uh, we're rolling into Memphis here. Got about an hour and a half drive back across. And I hope everybody's doing good. Be sure to hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you may. And uh, be sure to uh, leave us some comments. Let us know if you're enjoying the content. Uh, go to the local police. Let us know. Uh, let us know how we're doing or how we're not doing. Why not? Uh, you made it through this whole video. Leave me three box trucks down in the description. Let me know y'all that made it all the way through and. Uh, be sure to hit that like again. Uh, I don't say that too much in any of my videos, but we'll say it in this one here. And, uh, you know, it helps out the, what do they call that? The, the algorithm, algorithm, whatever. Y'all, y'all wonder how it sounds when the country boy says it? Algorithm. <laughs> but it just help, it just helped the channel get shared out, you know, in, with, uh, in other like, content channels so this road is rough as hell sorry about the noise old brick streets y'all we got these old brick streets here beautiful brick streets so uh, but anyway thanks for watching like we always say here keep the shiny side up and hammer down we'll see y'all on the next we're out